everyone this is mukesh soni welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to talk about the famous novella animal form by george orwell now let's know briefly about the author the novelist of this novella george orwell george orwell was born in 1903 and passed away in 1950 a legendary name in english literature more considered as the 20th century best writer english novelist political author and journalist he was born as the eric player in bihar india and moved to london with his mother at the age of 1 he joined indian imperial police and left for burma in 1922 however he returned home and after initial struggles started writing under the pseudonym george orwell his first work is titled as down and out in paris and london His best works include Animal Farm which was published 1945 1984 which was published 1949 His work is best known for its lucid prose awareness of social justice wit and satire He was a staunch supporter of democratic socialism and he used to oppose the totalitarianism and there are few words which brought uh, which could be included in the popular vocabulary like big brother thought police double think there are four major characters in this novella old major napoleon snowball boxer and squealer animal farm the plot summary in brief animal farm by george orwell is an allegory of the events of the russian revolution of 1917 It deals with the ideas of freedom, rebellion and the corrupting nature of power. Animal Farm is a novel about a group of animals who take control of the farm they live on. The animals get fed up of their master, Farmer Jones, so they kick him out. Once they are free of the tyrant Jones, life on the farm is good for a while and there's a hope for a happier future of less work, better education and more food. However, Trouble brews as the pigs, Napoleon and Snowball fight for the hearts and the minds of the other animals on the farm. Napoleon seizes power by force and ends up exploiting the animals just as Farmer Jones had done. The novel ends with the pigs behaving and even dressing like the humans the animals tried to get rid of in the first place. Let's know the social and the historical context of this novella. Animal Farm was written by George Orwell in 1945. This novel is an allegory even though it is set on a farm and stars a cast of farm animals. It reflects the events of the Russian Revolution of 1917. The animals are all clever representations of Russian politicians, voters and workers. George Orwell used the novel to make his opinions on Russian leaders heard. Animal Farm the key plot details Old Major the prize boar calls a secret meeting of all the farm animals on Manor Farm he states that rebellion against the human master Mr Jones will one day come a cow starts the rebellion by walking into the store shed the animals end up chasing Mr Jones off the farm now they are free and the animals all agree on the seven commandments they will live by the farm is renamed as the animal farm there's a hope for a better future the pigs start to order the other animals around and take more food than they should the animals bravely fight off a human attempt to retake the farm and this becomes known as the battle of the cow shed the animals set to work building a windmill and napoleon takes charge napoleon reduces the rations and rights of the animals and starts breaking the commandments there's another invasions by the men and the windmill is blown up boxer collapses while rebuilding it for the second time napoleon and the other pigs learn to walk on the hind legs wear human clothes and carry whips Despite all the hard work the animals of the farm are right back to where they began hungry scared and exploited by those in charge 
let's know the seven commandments which all the animals agreed to follow one whatever goes upon two legs is an enemy two whatever goes upon four legs or has wings is a friend three no animal shall wear clothes four no animal shall sleep in a bed five no animals shall drink alcohol six no animal shall kill any other animal seven all animals are equal now let's discuss the plot summary in detail old major inspires the animals to rebel old major delivers a speech to all the farm animals he points out that their lives are difficult full of hardships and they live in slavery because of the way the farmer john treats the them according to old major all men are enemies all animals are equal and one day there'll be a rebellion he then teaches the animals a song called beast of england the song is about animals overthrowing men and being old major dies 3 nights after and the three pigs snowball napoleon and squealer they take old major's teaching and turn it into a way of thinking called animalism the rebellion comes when mr jones forgets to feed the animals and a fed up cow pushes her way into the store shed to look for food the rest of the animals go in to help themselves and mr jones and his men try to get the animals back in line but the animal chase them off the farm now it belongs to them animals rejoice in their victory they change the name of the farm to animal farm and decide on seven commandments to live by that focus on animals equality and avoiding behaving like farmer jones now the animals are happy they work well they work well together and more efficiently than mr jones ever did boxer the horse always makes a huge effort his motto is i'll work harder the pigs begin to teach the others to read and write it is hinted that napoleon steals some milk for himself after the first day's harvest the two pigs snowball and napoleon they often argue during the meetings snowball sets up committees focusing on education reading and writing he reduces animalism animalism to one idea for the simpler animals four legs good and two legs bad and the sheep regularly chant it napoleon however thinks educating the old animals is a waste of time so he focuses on the youngsters in particular the nine puppies that he takes away from the mother to educate them himself at this stage the pigs start taking any extra apples and milk for themselves and some animals complain but squealer persuaded them saying that if the pigs don't take any extra food jones might return this is enough to make the other animals agree with him and in this manner the inequality between the pigs and the others begins here now mr jones and his men they are trying to retake the farm but the animals fight against the invasion and this fight is known as the battle of the cowshed awards are given for bravery to snowball and the boxer after the battle of cowshed snowball suggests building a windmill napoleon thinks that they should spend the time for building up the food stores instead of building up the new windmills so as the animals are about to vote on this matter napoleon calls his dogs into the barn they are now fully grown and they chase snowball away so we have seen here now the snowball is thrown away by napoleon because snowball would like to start the windmills whereas the napoleon would like to start the new food stores unfortunately supplies and food run short and the pigs start contacting with the humans they move into the farmhouse sleep in the bed get up quite late compared to other animals an incident occurs with some hens who protest against unfair treatment and refuse to hand the refuse to hand the eggs over napoleon stops their food and nine of them died as a result after this napoleon holds show trials where any animals that had spoken against him has to publicly confess the crime and will be killed later 
the animals finish the windmill for the second time but with no longer working hours and less food during another attempted invasion by the men the windmill is blown up the pigs then break another commandment by drinking alcohol to celebrate the victory of the invasion the farm is proclaimed a republic and a president is elected but there was only one candidate to vote for that was napoleon during the rebuilding of the windmill boxer falls the pigs claim that they will look after the boxer but they sell him to a horse slaughter squealer lies to the other animals telling them that napoleon ensured that boxer got the best treatment possible the pigs use the money from the sale of boxer to buy whiskey now the time moves on and the pigs grow fatter while the other animals work harder and are given less food they now cannot remember if they were better or worse off under the rule of mr jones the pigs learn to walk on two legs and have adopted all of mr jones bad habits that old major told them to avoid in his speech they invite the humans they once fought against to the farm napoleon declares that the farm will be called meno farm again and the animals watching the meeting cannot tell the difference between the humans and the pigs animal farm is read as a political satire dystopian novel and as an allegory according to orwell this novella reflects the events leading up to russian revolution of 1917 and stalinist era of soviet union the novella in fact depicts the rise of joseph stalin and communism in the former soviet union the pigs in animal form represents stalinist whereas napoleon's rise to power symbolically suggests the rise of so- of joseph stalin to power a strong satire on fascism the novella allegorically narrates the story of animals of manner form revolting against the humans in the hope of bright future but only to witness the crumbling of the utopian ideals and rise of absolute corruption under napoleon and his supporters animal form was rejected by many publishers before it finally got published in 1945 Even to this day animal form is considered to be one of the classics in, in English literature that blends political purpose with artistic flavor Dear friends thank you so much for watching this video for more videos don't forget to subscribe and comment for online classes you can contact me on 6361617669 or you can mail me mukeshenglish@gmail.com Thank you once again.